This video explains how to fix your printer when you see a carriage jam error message on your computer or on the printer's control panel. Turn the printer off and then on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. If it does not turn off, you might have a paper jam. We will address paper jams later in this video. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Then, press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports. And then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. A paper jam might cause your carriage jam. Do not remove jam paper at this time. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input or output tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it may not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step, we need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. Remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Determine whether you have a rear access panel or a duplexer so that you can remove whichever you have from the printer. If you have a rear access panel, locate the gray tab on the left side and push it inward to disengage the latch. Pull straight out and to the left to remove the panel. If you have a duplexer, place your hand on the right side and push towards the left side of the printer. This will disengage the duplexer from the printer. Pull straight out to remove it. Check the rear area for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the rear of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. If you have a duplexer, let's check inside it for any jams. Holding the duplexer with two hands, push down on the two tabs on both ends to unlatch it. Remove any jam paper from inside the duplexer. Once all the paper has been removed, close the cover until it snaps shut. Reattach the duplexer by inserting the left side first into the back of the printer. With the left side in place, push the right side straight in until the duplexer is securely locked in place. If you have a rear access panel, you can reinsert it by gently pushing the tabs on the right side of the rear access panel into the appropriate slots on the printer. Push the door forward until it snaps into place. If you cannot remove the paper jam from the back, we will attempt to remove it from the front. Turn to the front again. Open the carriage access door. Carefully remove any paper you see. Make sure you get all the small pieces that might have torn off. Check the rollers and wheels for any remaining pieces of paper. You must remove all scraps of paper to prevent future paper jams. Small pieces of paper can easily stick in places that are difficult to see. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search left and right inside the printer. Searching the carriage path with a flashlight is an important step in preventing future jams. Don't worry if the carriage is in the way on the right-hand side. We will show you how to check this area shortly. When you've removed the paper, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back again. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Plug the power cord back in. Turn to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Next, 
load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the Printer Status Report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the Printer Status Report does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to make sure the carriage can move freely. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage might move into the access area in the middle of the printer. If so, allow it to move to that position. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Turn to the front. Look inside the printer to see where the carriage is stuck. Check for obstructions around the carriage that could prevent it from moving. You might need a flashlight to illuminate areas for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found. Reach inside the printer through the cartridge access door and manually move the carriage. Do not force the carriage to move if it is in the docking station on the right side of the unit and you do not find any obstructions that restrict its movement. Forcing the carriage to move might damage the printer. Remove any obstructions that are found while gently moving the carriage. Ensure the carriage moves freely from all the way to the right to all the way to the left. While the carriage is on the left side, look inside the printer and check for obstructions in the far right side of the carriage path. You might need a flashlight to illuminate areas for proper viewing. Once again, remove any obstructions that are found. Once all obstructions are removed and the carriage can move the full width of the carriage path, close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Turn to the front of the printer. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button on the control panel to turn on the printer. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes improper installation or placement of the cartridges or printhead assembly can cause a carriage jam. In this step, we will fix this. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Open the cartridge access door to expose the carriage. The carriage might move into the center of the printer. If so, allow it to move into that position. On the front of a cartridge, push the release tab inward to unlatch it from the printhead assembly. Lift straight up and out to remove the cartridge from the printer. Repeat this step for all cartridges. When removing the cartridges, be aware of the electrical contacts and ink ports. Be careful not to touch the contacts or ports because touching them can cause clogs, ink failure, and poor electrical connections. Once all cartridges are removed, lift the latch handle on the carriage. Lift the printhead assembly out of the printer. Make sure that you do not leave the printhead assembly or the cartridges out of the printer for longer than five minutes. Leaving them out for an extended period of time can dry up the ink ports on the cartridges or nozzles on the printhead assembly. Check for obstructions under or around the carriage. If any obstructions are found, remove them from the printer.
Once all obstructions are removed, you can reinstall the printhead assembly. Hold the printhead assembly upright with the color-coded icons on the top and lower the assembly into the carriage. Carefully lower the latch handle on the carriage, making sure that it is fully closed. Reinstall the cartridges by placing each cartridge one at a time back into its color-coded slot and gently push down until it snaps into place. Once again, repeat for all cartridges. Close the cartridge access door. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. If the error message still displays, it might not be the printer. The power supply might be the issue. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Go to the back of the printer. Disconnect the power cord. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Plug the power cord directly into a wall outlet. Then plug it back into the printer. Move back to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer back on. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Perform a power reset by first removing all the paper in the input tray. Turn to the back of the printer. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then, disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 30 seconds. It is important to wait the full 30 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then, reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Move back to the front. If the printer does not turn on by itself, press the power button to turn it on. Next, load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Try printing a printer status report to see if the issue is resolved. On the touchscreen control panel, touch the right arrow to show more options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow until the Reports option is displayed. Touch Reports, and then touch Printer Status Report to print the report. If the printer status report prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the printer status report does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.